My name is David Ornstein and I want to thank you for watching my YouTube video where I play excerpts from my compositions, which are etudes I wrote, that highlight specific techniques I was taught by my teacher, Misha Kotler. Misha studied at the Paris Conservatory in the 1920s with Alfred Carteau, who in turn studied with a protege of Chopin. Kotler then went on to Vienna where he studied with Emil von Sauer, who was a pupil of Franz Liszt and Nikolai Rubinstein. I called my etudes the Paris Piano Connection and each etude is titled by the specific technique that it features. Wrist Staccato. Keep the hand of the forearm still and go up and down with the hand for each note struck. legato and staccato, it's done with an up and down motion of the forearm to activate the hand. The weight falls in the fingertips. invented by Alfred Cartot, you interrupt the motion of the hands to get the notes to play short. And this is when you go at a quick tempo. sound without sounding harsh. Next etude is called Two Note Phrase. It involves three steps. First step you go down with the forearm and then you touch the second note and you go up with the forearm. The first note is loud, the second note is soft. The first note is long, the second note is short. Scales. Very important when playing scales, keep the hands at a high angle. Look how easy it is to get the thumb under the hand when my hands are tilted up high. If I had my hand low, I'd have to bend, bend, bend to get my th thumb under the third finger, and I'd really have to bend a great distance to get my thumb under the fourth finger. This way, everything goes very smoothly and easily. <laughs> Seventh etude 
is called tone production. Very important to keep your wrist very steady when you play any note under a legato sign and let the weight freely form or fall from the top of your arm into your fingertips to get the beautiful tone. This is David Ornstein, and I appreciate you watching my excerpts from the Paris Piano Connection. Thank you.